Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. Now that it is 2023, what can you expect for the economy this year, both for individuals and for business owners? Many experts think this is going to be another difficult year economically with high inflation, higher interest rates, and more layoffs. However, there are some positive signals as well. In this quick video, I'm gonna give a welcome to 2023 economic update, important economic reports to look out for this week, and what you need to know as a small business owner or entrepreneur to be successful in 2023. And as always, thank you for subscribing, turning on alerts, and liking this video if you find it valuable. As always, if you wanna stay up to date on all things business and economic related this year, be sure you're tuned in here you can also use our free app. It's Hello Skip in the App Store and Google Play or get one-on-one -on -one support from our team. Links are in the description. I want to start with this report by Morgan Stanley on a 2023 investment outlook. Just to highlight a few things. First, they have the 2022 recap right here. We continue to believe when 2022 is over, which it now is, equity investors will think that didn't turn out nearly as bad as it felt at times. I think that sentiment may be true for a lot of you. Yes, there was a lot of pain for business owners not doing as well as they hope. In fact, we covered that in depth in a video a couple weeks ago, I'll link to that above. Most investments were down, businesses struggled. Depending on the size and the industry, of your business, you likely had to make layoffs and do cost cutting measures. A couple conclusions from this report is that the economy is going to be more resilient than we may expect. And this quote looming collapse that many experts are thinking is going to happen early this year, maybe throughout 2023, we may not see that in the first quarter of this year. So that's a positive. Also Goldman Sachs did a 2023 outlook report as well. I just wanna pull out this chart here that shows that they think a US recession in the next 12 months is less likely than most other forecasters. They think there's between a 30 and 40% chance of a recession this year. And you can see that's on the low end of where others stack the likelihood of a recession. So I'll tell you what these positive signals may mean for you as an individual or business owner. But first I wanna talk about the important things that are happening this week. First of all, on Wednesday, we are hearing from the Federal Reserve. They're releasing their minutes from the December meeting where they raised interest rates by 0.5%. Those minutes when they're released will give us some insight on the discussions they had in December. We expect rates to raise in their next meeting, but the minutes will provide more details on upcoming decisions that they may make. On Thursday, the US Labor Department releases their unemployment report for the week ending December 31st. And on Friday, this is the big report, the Labor Department will release the December jobs report. Remember what happens with jobs, hiring and firing and layoffs play a major factor in Fed policy decisions, which affects inflation, borrowing, and broadly, economic growth. From the last jobs report, payroll growth remained robust in November and the jobless rate held steady at 3.7%, a sign that the U.S. labor market is still historically tight with employers competing for a limited pool of workers and bidding up wages. And shifting to today's markets, the markets are open for the first time in 2023. S&P 500 is down. Tesla is down around 11%. And today marks the one year anniversary of the S&P 500 hitting its all time closing high before having a tough 2022. It's not off to a good start. And at the same time, tech layoffs are happening faster than at any time during the pandemic. This is a report from the Wall Street Journal today that show the estimated number of tech layoffs monthly dating back to April 2020 in yellow. And on the right side, you see the layoffs in 2022 with over 51,000 employees laid off in November. Collectively, employers in the slumping tech sector cut more than 150,000 jobs in 2022 based on estimates from layoffs.fyi, a website that tracks events as they surface in media reports and company releases. Those figures compare with about 80,000 layoffs between March and December, 2020 and 15,000 in all of 2021. So this report shows that at least certain jobs, high paying tech jobs in particular, companies that have seen valuations come down drastically over the past year are making cuts. We're seeing this even with the largest companies from Meta and Amazon, and maybe even Google will make some cuts as well. So what does that mean for you as you kick off the year? First of all, hope it's off to a great start. How can you use this week's information and these in-depth reports from Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs to plan your year? Three main things. Number one, folks who think long-term this year 
will be rewarded. If you are building a business with a long term in mind, you will succeed because businesses will not be overvalued because we are not seeing the access to cheap capital that we saw in 2020 and 2021. Things are resetting. If you are a cash flow positive business with strong fundamentals, you will be in a great position as long as you keep the discipline that got you to where you are. Number two, capital is still available. No matter what stage of business you're at, whether it's early stage, just starting out, or you have millions in revenue, there are grants, there are loans, there are government programs that you can still benefit from to strengthen your position, to strengthen your business. Of course, if you want help with that, you can always go to HelloSkip dot com slash join and talk with us. We would love to help set you up for success this year and get you connected with one of our funding and business experts. And number three, there's still access to free money out there. As I talk about all the time, if you are looking for 1K, 5K, 10K, there are grants that exist that you can apply for that won't be a heavy lift for you that you can use to then grow your business, and avoid taking on debt. So I always encourage people to take advantage of that option. And we've got a lot more about that later this week as we kick off the year. We're going to have a ton of videos dedicated to the best funding options in 2023, grants, loans, financing, things that you can use for yourself or for your business to make sure that this is your best year yet. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and subscribing if you're new. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.